Before taking photos for photography, you need to place some marks on your body. The marks help to define certain points or lines on your body. If you are tracing your outline yourself, the markings don't need to be perfect. You can eyeball it during the outlining process. You want to wear your best fitting bra and also your standard underwear. Wear a pendant necklace to help mark your necklines. Start by placing a contrasting one quarter inch wide tape vertically at the fullest point of your bust when looking down on it. Check in the mirror to make sure the marks aren't too close together or too far apart and that the right and left look evenly placed from your center front. Place a narrow piece of tape at your right and left underbust where the underwire of a bra would sit. To mark your center front waist, place a narrow piece of tape vertically at your navel extending up a short distance. At your back waist, feel for your spine and place a tape there. To find your underarm, place a ruler under your arm as high as comfortably possible. Make sure the ruler extends all the way to the back underarm and is parallel to the floor. Move the ruler down the width of the tape and place a piece of tape along the top edge of the ruler. Mark both right and left sides. Tie a piece of elastic around your waist and move around so that it finds the right place. The best way to find your armhole is to use a narrow piece of elastic. Here we are using 1 8 inch wide elastic tied with a slip knot. Place the elastic at the end of your shoulder where a standard set-in sleeve would sit and tighten the elastic so that it stays in place. Using an eyeshadow pencil and contrast color to your skin, trace along the edge of the elastic. You must mark both right and left armholes. You can also use the same armhole elastic and eyeshadow pencil to mark the biceps. Be sure to place it at the same level as your underarm tape. Be sure to mark both right and left biceps. It helps to mark the arm at the crease line in front so that you can see the elbow placement in all photos. Using the eyeshadow pencil, draw along the front crease and extend the mark to the back elbow bone. Mark both right and left elbows. Mark the wrist just below the wrist bone and extend the line all the way around. Mark both right and left wrists. The purpose of the full front and back markings is to get an idea of what shape your body is at the shoulder neck area so that your full length can be measured. Looking in the mirror, draw a line from your necklace at the side of your neck straight down to about mid armhole level.
To mark the center front neck, draw a vertical line at the center of your collarbone. And draw a horizontal line at the top of your collarbone. You can let your necklace be your horizontal back neck mark. To mark the center back neck, draw marks along the bones of your spine. To mark your back full length line, start at the end of your front full length line and draw a line down your back as straight as possible. Remember this is really about shape, so it doesn't need to be perfect. If there is no space between your upper thighs, you need to mark your crotch level. Place a book between your legs as high as comfortably possible. Make sure the book extends all the way to the back and is parallel to the floor. Draw a line on your front thigh at the top of the book. If you have already set up your camera, you are now ready to take the photos.